There's no power or water in the Fort Myers Beach area, so anyone still there is completely cut off from services. John Lavenberg, national correspondent for the Tablet and Crux, is on the ground in the Diocese of Venice, which includes Fort Myers. He joins us now. Hey, John. Hi, Christine. So, John, tell us about the destruction that you're seeing. You know, what do the neighborhoods look like as you drive through? Yeah, so Christine, right now I'm at St. Leo the Great Parish in Bonita, Florida. Uh, and I can tell you on the way here, driving through Venice, driving through Northport, different places, you can certainly see the destruction of what Hurricane Ian left. We, I actually, the person I rode here with, we pulled into different neighborhoods, a lot of neighborhoods with mobile type homes, not really secure houses. Um, where the destruction, you can see a lot of things blown away, a lot of the belongings of people from inside their homes out on their front lawns destroyed. Um, and the same thing, you can see gas stations out of gas, signs destroyed, trees down. So really, all along the way here, a lot of destruction. Oh, I can imagine. And, and how is Catholic Charities helping the victims now? I see something behind you. And what's their plan for the long term? So Catholic Charities for the Diocese of Venice, they really have response stations set up throughout the diocese at different parishes. So the one right here at St. Leo the Great, you know, they have a drive through where people come get water and food. Inside, you can also go in and do a FEMA intake uh, to get FEMA relief, and they also have blankets and different things. Where I was earlier today um, is really their biggest operation out of a parish in Northport, where they're partnered with the National Guard. They've had 13 semi-trucks come with ice, water, uh, tarps, different things that people have driven through. There were, I can tell you, there were thousands of cars that went through there today. So that's really what they're focused on right now is at all of these different places, Arcadia is another, um, Fort Myers, Cape Coral, all these places really getting that immediate relief to people in this drive-through manner so it's quick um, and people can get it as they need it. Yeah, we see someone right behind you now getting their supplies. Now, Florida is known as one of the least affordable places to live in the country thanks to inflation and soaring rental costs. So what does this mean for people with low or fixed incomes who have lost their homes? How is Catholic Charities going to help them? Yeah, Christine, like you mentioned, you know, there are a lot of people here on those fixed incomes living in those mobile types homes that I mentioned that were really ravaged and destroyed by the storm. Um, what Catholic Charities is doing right now is they're working with their schools and they have a list that's by the end of the day, they said is going to be about 200 people deep of people that were either total losses, their homes or severely damaged. And so what they're doing is organizing that list based on the severity, based on different things, income level, different ways to assess who's in most need here. And what they're going to do is they have contracts right now that they're sending to those places to help get immediate fixes to those things that are in need and in the and so from there they move through that list and then after that they have something called rapid rehousing they partner with the state with that they've done even before the hurricane now they're going to try and expand that to this hurricane relief they partner with landlords different places to get people that lost their homes in immediate places partnering with landlords like I said different people to get people on their feet and in a secure housing situation uh, you've been making your way down the Gulf Coast, and tomorrow you have plans to head with Catholic Charities into the homes of survivors. So do they plan to rebuild? You know, Christine, my understanding is tomorrow I'll be spending a decent amount of time seeing these homes in Fort Myers, where, as you know, uh, the storm really ravaged Fort Myers, Fort Myers Beach in particular. And so these people, the, all the indication is the reason we're going is to bring a contractor to show them the type of destruction that exists and the type of rebuilding that needs to be done. So it seems that these people that we're visiting, they plan to stay. These are members of the Catholic school community that we'll be visiting first and in the most need. They plan to stay and want to rebuild and stay here. We have been seeing horrific pictures from Fort Myers Beach. John Lavenberg, national correspondent for the Tablet and Crux. Thanks so much. We'll check back in with you tomorrow. Thank you, Christine. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news.